What's up, it's Cinema Show Gun here, and I don't know about you all, but I slept just a tad bit better last night. I slept just a tad bit better knowing that a third suspect had been arrested in the Savannah Soto case. Because, much like all of you all, I was watching that little security camera footage, that little snippet, and I just knew that there was someone else in the truck. And of course now the mama, the stepmama, whatever you want to call her, big mama, mom Dukes, I'm going to call her mom Dukes, mom Dukes has been arrested. And the internet got this one totally right. And I can't help but wonder if the internet's uproar about there being someone else in the truck, if the internet's uproar about someone handing over a towel or a paper towel. I wonder if that made the investigators take a second look at things. Don't get me wrong. I think law enforcement did a wonderful job on this case. I cover cases where they drop the ball all the time. They were on top of this case since day one. And I don't think that they really need help you know, to solve this case, I'm sure they had it handled, but I can't help but wonder, you know, because you know, investigators and law enforcement, they're watching social media. Hell, some of them probably get off and watch some of these YouTube videos that people put out, that people put out there. So even if it's not the case when it comes to this case, I'm sure sometimes, you know, the internet po pointing things out leads investigators to ask more questions or to take a second look at certain details that they may have missed. But anyways, I know that all of us are happy that a third suspect has been arrested. So you got to imagine that Savannah and Matthew's family are really happy. And Matthew's father actually spoke out about this third arrest. I want to go ahead and roll this clip so we can see what he has to say. But first, I need a huge favor from all of you all. It's totally free. It only takes five seconds. I need you all to hit the like button and I need you all to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, with that being said, let's roll this clip and then I'll be right back with more the thoughts. Capital murder case of Savannah Soto and Matthew Guerra. Tonight, San Antonio police have arrested a third person connected to their murders. 47 year old Myrta Romanos. According to the arrest affidavit, her gun was used in the murders. She's believed to be the stepmother of the alleged murderer, Christian Preziado and Ramon Preziado Jr.'s wife. Ramon is Christian's father. He is accused of helping Christian move the bodies. According to SAPD, Romanos is the final suspect in this case. We were able to develop information from surveillance video uh, that shows Miss Romanos involved the night of the murder. Uh, that video surveillance shows her at the home right after the murders and she was seen on video surveillance leaving in that black truck that we all saw on the surveillance video uh, and then returning to her home with uh, Christopher and Ramon in that truck. Romanos will be charged with three felonies, altering, destroying, or concealing a human corpse, abusing a corpse, and tampering with evidence. SAPD believes all suspects are now in custody. As of right now, there are you under the impression there are any more suspects? At this time, we're confident that there's no more suspects. At this time, we're, we're confident that these were the three individuals that were involved in this case. Police would not say where the murders of Guerra and Soto happened, except that they know it was in the area of the suspect's home. Melissa Vega at the live desk. Happening right now, we are still waiting on the official booking photo from the Bear County Jail of Mienta Romanos, but we do have some new video coming into our newsroom tonight at the Magistrate. Our camera is capturing Romanos in the very preliminary stages of her criminal proceedings. Again, she is facing three charges, including abuse of a corpse, tampering with evidence, and altering, destroying, or concealing a human corpse. All three felony charges, each with their own bond set. And we learned just a short time ago those three bonds total to more than a million dollars. Of course, as soon as we get her arrest photo, she's currently still going through the process of getting booked into the Bear County Jail. We will share that with you. That is the latest from the Life Desk. Mandy. Just one day after laying his son to rest, Matthew Guetta's father says 
This latest arrest is right on time. News 4 San Antonio's Stephanie Esquivel tells us the third arrest opens the door to justice and closure. Call me pops. And just uh, the smile he would put on my face. An excruciatingly painful time for Matthew Guerra's father, Gabriel, just one day after Matthew's burial and seeing his unborn grandson, Fabian, for the first time. It's not the way I wanted to meet Fabian, but um, most definitely, you know, um, get to seeing him and, and uh, he looked like Savannah and just him being um, on top of Matthew and uh, being close to Matthew, it meant the world to me. A third arrest in connection with the young family's killing is made. The perfect timing with God and, you know, just giving me comfort or something to help me uh, during a difficult time. Gabriel says he wants the harshest punishment possible for the third suspect, Mirta Romanos, who is accused of helping to cover up the crime. But Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez says adding additional charges doesn't seem likely right now. I certainly understand why the family would, would like to see uh, others, uh, the parents, for example, charged with ca with capital murder, but, but the law requires that we have some evidence of that. Regardless of the charges or punishment, Gabriel says he's relieved that police found the evidence needed to arrest Romanos because the other two suspects, Romanos' husband, Ramon Preciado, and her stepson, Christopher Preciado, were not telling the entire truth. They were trying to... Um protect her from being arrested, like trying to take the, uh, the, the, the blame for everything and not including her. Stephanie Esquivel, News 4. I agree with everything he was saying. Christopher and Ramon were most likely trying to cover up Mom Duke's involvement in this whole situation. But I've been questioned how, in, I've been questioning how involved was she really? Because, you know, a lot of people have a hard time believing that this was over trees, that this was over ganja, that this was over that sticky, icky, yappy grass, right? But I've made the point. And, you know, around the area where I live, people get killed over weed all the time. I know it sucks. I know it's stupid. But it happens. It happens. But looking at this family, looking at Christopher, not so much Ramon. But looking at Christopher and looking at Mom Dukes, I'm sitting here like these people look like they do a little bit more than smoke. These people look like people who are probably on like some type of psychedelics. I'm not trying to judge. I have no, you know, or anything. Everyone does their own thing. But answer me this question. When you look at Mom Dukes and you look at Christopher, doesn't this look like a family that probably does drugs together? Like, I don't think Christopher has to hide when he smokes or does his thing. He probably does it with his mom. I wouldn't be surprised if both of these people were on some type of substances that night. Maybe they were on some type of crazy trip. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not trying to be too judgmental here, but they look like the types. As soon as I saw Christopher, I was like, okay, I'm sure he smokes weed, but he looks like he dabbles in some other things too. Looking at the mom, I wouldn't be um, surprised if she did as well. So all I'm saying here is I'm wondering if these two were on some type of like psychedelic trip that night. And listen, I've partaken in a lot of things, you know, nothing too hardcore, but I've partaken in things in my life. Um, everyone has a different trip. Everyone has a different reaction. And when you're living a negative lifestyle and you have negative thoughts in your head and you're not, you know, a, a person who's, who's a good person, when you do these mind altering things, sometimes it causes you to do crazy stuff. Like I understand that some of you may do psychedelics and you may want to go hang out in a garden of roses. Maybe you want to go look at the trees and look at nature. Some people, they're already twisted inside, okay? So when they do these things, things that may make you happy, things that you may have fun while doing, other people do pretty wild and twisted stuff. And, and, and this family, not so much Ramon, but Christopher and Mom Dukes, they look kind of dark, right? They look kind of like, 
I don't want to say goth, but they look something. I, don't, I, I can't quite put my finger on it. But they definitely seem like the type that would be on like psychedelics. And they definitely seem like the type that probably trip together. And, you know, if they are the type that does substances together, then that makes it easier to believe that these three individuals, or at least two of these individuals, were in on this situation together. I really do believe for this to have happened so quickly that there had to be some type of knowledge on the parents' behalf that at the very least a deal was going down or something. But maybe I'm wrong. We'll talk about that more in a future video, though. For right now, I want to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. While you're down there, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so via Cash App. I'll have my Cash App in the pinned comment. Or you can donate via Super Thanks. Or, for free, you can share the video, subscribe, all of that good stuff. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all very soon in the next one.